Alright guys, let me tell you the real reason why I started using Blender as a car designer. I was an exterior car designer at Ital Design, which is a part of Volkswagen Group and it was around 3 years ago. And in a big design studio like that you have different departments for different tasks. Like we had interior design department, exterior design department, 3D modeling, animation and visualization, color and trim, UX, UI, so everything is separated. So in that scenario, every designer has very specific tasks. At least it was like that for exterior designers. I was very happy at the beginning because it was after my master's and I started to be like a professional car designer. I started to work in a big company and it was like, yeah, everything is perfect. But after a while, it started to feel like super repetitive. Like I found it a little bit monotonous, you know, because the process was always similar. We as designers work on 2D most of the time, like sketching on paper or Photoshop, but we didn't have almost any interaction with 3D because there's an alias modeler team who handles all the 3D process, so you just talk with them, interact with them, but you don't use the software yourself that much. And it made me feel like this car design process is a little bit slow and heavy compared to other industries. Sometimes we used to chat with my colleague. We were checking art stations, scrolling on this amazing works for gaming, for concept art, for movie industry, like super creatures, robots, sci-fi vehicles, and they were amazing stuff. And also animations and visuals, everything. So. We were like, how do they do this? Like, I cannot imagine making all this stuff in Alias, which would take a huge amount of time. And even not only time, some things are, I think, not that possible. Alias is not that flexible for like these textures and visuals, all these materials coming together when you're... So it was like a whole different level. And I was questioning a lot the process of car design. Also, on that time, I wanted to change from exterior design to interior design department because I'm like, Okay, I did some exterior projects, I was a part of them and I want to try new, new things because my background is also I graduated from industrial design so I'm interested in also different fields and I think as a designer you should know the whole thing, you know. So I wanted to change the interior design and also I thought it can open some different doors for me from different companies and I can you know, try different experiences. But for that I needed to improve my skills and of course create a portfolio for interior design specifically. For that I wanted to make like a super detailed cool interior design projects and I also wanted to put them in 3D with nice renderings like inspired by this other industries as concept art or gaming and movie etc. So I wanted to make something really impressive, really something new, at least different than what I do at, at the work. So I knew that there should be another way than modeling everything in Alias with this all heavy and slow process. So I did my research, I asked too many designers, I checked online everywhere and I found that Blender is the best software which suits to my purpose. Before that honestly I downloaded Maya and I watched some tutorials but it was like a trial version of Maya and after 30 days it expired whatever so Blender was also free so it was like the amazing fit for everything so you can just download, install for free and use it at home. So I was really hyped about it. I even talked to my manager on that time in Intel Design. I said, hey, can I install Blender? It's a new software. It's not actually a new software, but I want to install it and practice for some projects. Maybe it can be helpful and I can also improve myself. And he was like, but for that, you need to call the IT guys and to check the license. And I was like, no, no, it's, it's not paid. It's totally free. And then he was like, oh, okay, just call them and you can install, why not? And at the same day, the Blender was installed on my computer and I was like, yeah, that's a great advantage because if it was a paid software, oh, the paperwork and all this process is super long and maybe you will not even get the software if it's not really necessary, you know? So anyway, there's another video that I talked about the good parts of Blender that I don't want to repeat myself in this video, so you can go check it out on a different video later but I can say more I learned blender more I fell in love with it and by the way how did I learn blender like how was this process for me at the beginning you know the famous donut tutorial from blender grew this super popular probably the first tutorial that you would see in YouTube when you search for it and I also watched it it was the first thing I learned and it was great for learning the basics but also there are a lot of things which are not related to car design or for my purposes but I had to watch the whole thing to understand Blender and then I also watched many different tutorials from different people from different industries and put them all together after months of watching tutorials to refine the process the best for myself best for car design process but you don't need to go the same path you don't need to watch tutorials for months to learn Blender 
especially for car design because I have my own online course that is specific for car design and specific for car designers which means you will learn how to put your own idea from sketch to 3D in Blender with great materials and everything and you will learn it in a very efficient way in a very refined way just in eight hours you will learn everything you need to know to bring your ideas into that level so if you still don't use Blender and if you want to learn you can check the details in the link in the description Back to the story, it's actually a little bit funny because at the end I didn't change the interior department, I actually changed the whole company, I quit from Vital Design. I also changed the country actually, I went to Austria to design Storz, where I was able to work on more variety of projects. It was a smaller team, so we were able to be involved in design process from zero to 3D modeling until the end, like I worked on many different phases of design, so for me it was a better option and I used the blender for all this process for almost all the projects I was able to use blender today as an independent designer I use blender for all my projects all my client projects and personal projects and also there are many other car designers who use blender in their professional life in the studio and also at home on their personal work Recently Blender released a new 3.0 version and they made a video on official Blender YouTube channel to show how many different industries using Blender actually and it's, it's amazing if you didn't watch this video you see all different fields that are using Blender and it's really mind-blowing and I'm very happy very honored to be part of this video because you can see like one minute of also me talking about how I use Blender in car design and being part of this community is really something special for me I mean I'm a fan of Blender and being in their official video, it's just happy, you know, <laughs> it makes me happy. So at the end, why I learned Blender? Because I wanted to make a more efficient process for me, for my design process. Also, I wanted to add more fields to my design capabilities, like rather than only perfect surface modeling on exterior, now I can model anything in a super efficient way. Honestly, I started to feel a little bit like addict to Blender. I use it almost every day and I still learn new things and I'm still surprised and impressed by these features and everything after a couple of years of using it already, so... Alright, see you in the next video.